Hello ladies and gentlemen, Tevron here and today we are going to be opening some packs for the Grand Tournament which just released today. I waited until the servers had kind of calmed down and everything was moving in a you know more conducive manner for this. I've only got 23 packs because I've only used gold to purchase these. I don't play Hearthstone a whole heck of a lot. Um, I do try to complete the quests though I'm not always successful at that, but let's see what we get here. Prepare yourself for a day of the most impressive jousting, eye-popping sideshows, and the mightiest combat you've ever encountered. Um, thanks, Tyrion. Uh, that's an impressive display. Let's see what we get here. Let's see, you got one rare. Thunder Bluff Valiant. Give your totems plus two attack. That's okay. Whenever you equip a weapon, give it plus one attack. Warhorse Trainer seems all right. Silver Hand Recruits get plus one attack. Undercity Valiant combo deal one damage. That seems okay for a rogue. And then we got a two one taunt. Come on, legendary. Let's see what we got. Just a rare. Fencing coach. The next time you use your hero power, it costs two less. Hmm. Refreshment vendor's pretty good for a control deck, because you're almost always going to have life, need life more than your opponent does if they're aggro. Okay, we got totem carver, plus one, plus one for each friendly totem. I don't know if they're going to do enough to make shaman actually viable on the ladder or not, but that seems decent. I mean, uh, judging cards just in theory craft is one thing. You don't really know how something's going to do until you get in there and play it and figure out what the meta settles at. Gadgets and Jouster, reveal a mini in each deck if your costs more gain plus one plus one. I don't know that the joust mechanic is going to actually be a competitive thing either, though it does seem okay for casual play. There. Still no legendaries. Archer Horse Rider seems okay. I'm not sure about the, the value of three mana for half a uh, Argent Crusader, but... You know, you never know. King's Elec seems really good. I'll be honest. I mean, I know it's a joust mechanic, but even if that doesn't hit, it's it's still basically a raptor. And Darnassus Aspirate seems really insane. Uh, Druid being my favorite class and what I play the most of. Hmm. Clockwork Knight seems not bad either. I haven't really gone out of my way to see what these cards are ahead of time. I've, I've seen a few of them. Druid of the Saber. Transform to gain charge or plus one plus one in stealth. Not real sure about that. Maybe some kind of an aggro druid variant. Holy Champion. Whenever a character is healed, gain plus two attack. So that's a bigger um, lots champion I can't remember what it's called the priest card that uh, gets plus two attack when something's healed Argent Lance reveal a minion in each deck if it's yours cost more game one durability it's okay another undercity valiant what I really want is some of the dragon cards because uh, I know that priest has a really good low cost dragon centric card and I think that may be what it needs to put dragons actually over the top and make them viable Dread Steed. Death Rattle, summon a Dread Steed. So if it dies, you get another one, I guess? Or is the Dread Steed that summons something different? That's one thing I don't like about Hearthstone is that the, the cards don't really make it evident sometimes what's going on until you actually see the effect. Spell Slinger, we played with that in the Grand Tournament last week. In the mage deck, Knight of the Wild. Whenever you summon a beast, reduce the cost of this card by one. That seems okay. 
there's actually enough beasts to make something beast-centric for a druid. And another beast card. Give a friendly beast three plus three health. We're not needing things to buff beasts. We need more playable beasts is what we need, if that's ever going to become a thing. Polymorph board. Now that's a good card. Um, you can use that on offense. You can attack with a creature and then polymorph it and then attack again. Or you can use it on defense if there's something that you would rather be a 4-2 boar with charge. Summon any random random totem. Okay. There's another Elec. Two Ogremir Aspirant. Give your weapon plus one attack. Eh. Keep clicking that button. It's just a habit. I know you can just hit the space bar. Man. Ah, second aspirant. Good. I'm glad we got that. Evil heckler. That's uh, seems to be an undercosted booty bay bodyguard. Pit fighter. I mean, that's not horrible. It's it's a bigger chill wind jetty. Really would like a legendary or two. Epic. Another dread steed. Tournament medic. Restore two health to your hero. Uh, flame lance. Another argent horse. A fearsome doom guard. Hmm. Don't see warlocks playing that unless it's in a demon lock where uh, void. Uh, what you call it brings it out. Holy champion. Oh, two rares. Cut purse. Whenever this minion attacks a hero, add the coin to your hand. That may have potential. Ball of spiders. Summon three one one web spinners. I don't know about that. I mean, it's a ton of value, but at six man, I just don't know of a hunter that would play that unless the way that most of them are built changes. Come on now. Another polymorph boar, that's good. At least we're getting uh, play sets of some good cards. I generally enjoy playing control, though it's kind of hard to do in Hearthstone at the moment. Flame juggler, deal one damage to a random enemy. Eh. Whenever this minion takes damage, also deal that amount to your hero. That seems really not good, though it is very very under costed maybe in a super suicide aggro warlock ice rager the better magma rager lots champion silence a demon it's unusually specific okay though it is a four three for three previously you had to go uh to the mage card that uh, allows you to put a secret into play for free to get that good of stats on a three cost. Murloc Knight. Summon a random Murloc. Inspire. That's when you use your hero power, I believe. I wonder why that's a paladin card instead of a neutral. That seems strange to me. Another aspirant. We don't need that, but we can uh, disenchant it. Sparring partner. Taunt. Battle cry. Give a minion taunt. So any minion. That seems okay, though I wish we hadn't got these two fearsome doom guard. You could, uh... You could use that on your opponent's creatures to pull uh, something out from behind another taunt so you can kill it. Or maybe even to just assassinate with a black knight. Saboteur. Your opponent's hero power costs five more next turn. So it's a Lothab for hero powers? I don't know about that. Doesn't seem like that useful an ability. Orgrimmir, yeah, we've seen that. Ancestral Knowledge. Shaman, draw two cards, overload two. Well, Shaman may like that. Uh, the uh, Lava Shock or whatever it's called that unlocks your uh, locked crystals from overload might actually see some play. Man. With that, Tournament Medic, restore two health to your hero, yep. Living Roots, choose one, deal two damage, or summon two 1-1 saplings. 
that seems pretty good. Love the choice cards with Druid. Just gives you a lot of flexibility. Put a copy of an enemy minion into your hand. Hmm. Again, it's it's hard to evaluate these in the abstract without actually seeing them in play. Power Word Glory. Choose a minion whenever it attacks. Restore four health to your hero. I mean, you could use that defensively, maybe. They may, might be the best use of that, like a blessing of wisdom for a paladin. Windwalker, give a friendly. Yeah, we saw that. Inspire, gain wind fury, fury this turn. That's not too bad, especially the three mana three three. Lowly squire, that may actually see some use. Uh, I'm not sure, but one use of your hero power gets it up to a two two for one. Getting down, we may not get a legendary in these 23 packs. It's possible. Another epic. Elemental Destruction. Deal 4 to 5 damage to all minions, overload 5. Hmm. I'm not sure if Shaman really would want that over Lightning Storm. I mean, it does kill a lot more. Lance Carrier. Give a friendly minion plus 2 attack. Another Murloc Knight. Competitive spirit, when your turn starts, give your minions plus one plus one. That seems good. So there's no way to trigger this. You just... Does it just stay in play? And give your minions plus one plus one every turn? Or does it trigger at the uh, beginning of your turn, give them all plus one plus one and then go away? I don't know. See, that's, that's another example of not really being very clear about what the card does. Rare and an epic. Stable Master, give a friendly beast immune this turn. That seems okay. Another living root. Alex Straza's champion. Battlecry, if you're holding a dragon, gain plus one attack and charge. It's pretty good for a dragon-based warrior, I guess. Uh... Valdir Raider, Inspire plus two plus two. So it starts out at not a super good stat to cost ratio, but then you use your hero power once and it gets actually a pretty good one. I'm not sure how I feel about cards that need an investment to, to be good though. I'd rather they just be good the moment I cast them. Buccaneer, whenever you equip a weapon, give it plus one attack. Ice, another Ice Rager. Bash, deal three damage, gain three. That seems really good. I could see a control warrior playing that. Savage Combatant, Inspire, give your hero plus two attack this turn. That seems okay, though I would like it, would have liked it to have been a 4 5 instead of 5 4 uh, defense over, over attack power most of the time where I'm concerned. Another fearsome doom guard. We've got a bunch of those. Void Crusher. Destroy a random min minion for each player. Inspire. I'm not sure how I feel about that. Because if it's a random minion, it doesn't say another random minion. So you could kill him with your hero power. Shady Dealer. Battle Cry. If you have a pirate, game plus one, plus one. Now, in a pirate deck, a three mana, five, four seems insane. I don't know if there's going to be the cards around to support that. But that may be something to look out for. Another epic. Another elemental destruction. Flash heal. Restore five health for one mana. Hmm. Seems alright. They took away priests heal that they had during the beta. So I guess this is a sort of a fix for that. And then another saboteur. Two packs left. Tiny Knight of Evil. Whenever you discard a card, gain plus one plus one. Hmm, that may bring uh, Soulfire back into play for Warlocks or other discard things. If there's some more discard-centric cards in this set. Shadow Pan Warrior. Combo, gain three attack. That seems okay, too. Though I don't know of a rogue deck that that's currently in the meta that would that would fit into it may be in something that has yet to be built by someone healing wave shaman card 
Restore 7 health, reveal a minion in each deck. If yours costs more, restore 14 instead. Hmm. Again, I'm not totally certain about the, uh, the joust mechanic, but something that shamans have sorely needed is healing. If you're wanting to go the control route with them, that is. And we've seen most of these. Murklock, Mur Mookless Champion. Inspire, give your other minions plus one, plus one. Hmm. If that survives, that's good. And a Brave Archer. Inspire, if your hand is empty, deal two damage to the enemy hero. That seems really good if you can manage to empty your hand in a face hunter. Not my favorite class. And unfortunately, we didn't get any legendaries. But... We did get some stuff that we can disenchant. And we got some stuff that I was interested in getting. Alright. Okay, and maybe in the future I can uh, get some more of these. Because it's going to be hard to be at all competitive in the ladder anymore without some of the new stuff. Um, I do like the druid cards that I got that add a mana crystal when they die they destroy one we'll see if that can go somewhere and maybe in the future I'll actually put some hearthstone gameplay up on here for you guys uh, if you would like to see that leave a comment below and let me know if that's something you're interested in but until next time be excellent to each other